this morning my husband said get ready honey i'm going to take you to delaware and we can shop your favorite outlet shops there and have breakfast at the amish market so i hurried up and got ready we jumped in the car drove over the bay bridge and headed out to middleton delaware which is about an hour from our home It was an absolutely beautiful day. The clouds were gorgeous. The air was fresh. It was a little warm, but we had air conditioning in the car, so what did we care? Off we went. This is the quaint little town of Middleton, Delaware. The center of the village has a lot of mom and pop shops and little restaurants and cute things to see, art galleries. And the outskirts has a major road built going through it. So there's big chain stores on the outskirts. So you can get the best of everything here. And right here is a place we like to come to. It's called the Everett Theater. It's a live theater and they do musicals and all kinds of theater here. We saw a production of Newsboys and it was, or Newsies, it was really good. All that singing and dancing. So we like to keep abreast of what's coming to the Everett Theater and um, come when we can. So we drive through the center of town up here and then we're going to take a turn and we're going to find the Amish market and the stores I want to go to.
Okay, into the Dollar Tree haul we go. I didn't get a huge amount at the, this Dollar Tree, but I got some good deals, a few things I needed, and that's what I'm going to show you now. Now, I have found that most Dollar Trees have a really good bread section. Bread gets expensive in the stores, but I've found even potato bread, potato rolls, rye bread, uh, English muffins, all kinds of things. Uh, this trip, I got four jumbo uh, bagels. These are everything bagels. And there's four in a package, four great big ones in a package for a buck. Not too bad. And I also bought the cinnamon and raisin kind. So we had those waiting for us. Sticking with the food stuffs, I also got these great big tomato soups. 30% more soup in a can. It's 14.3 ounces. So for a dollar each for those, it'll serve several people. Good deal. I got two of those. And once again, if you saw my last Dollar Tree haul, you know I got these for my salads. Well, I've been eating salads, so I've used up my other bag. I get these bags with nuts and fruit in them uh, to top my salads with. So for a buck, I can top several salads with these. Several big salads. Okay. Now, I think that's all the food stuffs. I thought I'd try this, Silkian's Hair Care. It's a pro formula hydrating shampoo with pro vitamin B5 and avocado oil. It's 32 flu ounces, a whole quart of this stuff. So I thought for a buck, it's worth a try. So if any of you have tried this and liked it, let me know in the comments below. And also, what kind of breads do you find at your Dollar Tree? Alrighty, now I'm always misplacing my earphones. And when we go on a trip, Sometimes my husband wants to listen to the radio and I want to fool with my phone because I got a new phone. I never had a phone that got satellite before and I couldn't listen to YouTube or anything while I was in the car, but now I can. So I needed another pair of earphones. I don't expect these to be great for a dollar, but to have an extra pair because I'm always misplacing mine, I could put them in my purse and I'll have them on hand. So I got me some earbuds to use with my new phone. All right, and also the last time you saw me do a Dollar Tree haul a week or so ago, I had bought some items to make a door wreath with for the fall. And I saw some more there and I thought I'd add to it. Uh, I got these mini pomegranates in the right colors for fall. Thought they were pretty. I got some of these smaller leaves. I've got a garland of big leaves and I've also, I also got a garland of bittersweet berries. So I thought they would look nice. And then to contrast, I got these, which are similar to bittersweet berries in a lighter color. So all those things mixed together with the things I already had and the ribbons and all, I think it's going to be pretty. I'll show it to you when I make it. Okay, and the last thing I got at the Dollar Tree, which I was very happy to find, this is pretty cool, is Freeform Crochet, a book for a buck book for a buck. It's got lots of pictures, lots of projects. They've got fingerless gloves. They've got trims. They've got 30 fun projects. Unlock the secrets of freeform. They got hair bands and slippers and you know if you got a buck and you want to get a book on crocheting especially uh, beginning crocheting with a lot of instructions well there you go you know you can't rely on the internet forever because if your electricity goes off you can't get all your instructions on the internet so it's always good to have a book or two this is an amazing deal for a dollar so that's my dollar tree haul and i'll be right back with my goodwill haul and poof I look different. <laughs> it's the next day. I had videotaped the portions of this in the narrow screen instead of the wide screen. I'm not going to fix all of them, but this was a short one, so I thought I'd fix this one. So I'm going to show you my Goodwill um, haul. I only got two items, but I think I did well. The first thing I got is something that you've seen me use many times on my channel if you watch my cooking videos because I use this slap chopper thing to cut up all my vegetables. Well, this is a Vidalia Chop Wizard, same type of thing. 
and it was three dollars and 99 cents a great deal and it's used but I put it through the dishwasher and it came up just fine there's nothing wrong with it this comes off like this it's a chopper thing and it comes with the larger grid like this for larger diced cuts and then it comes with the smaller grid like that as well and it comes with the little tool for cleaning it out so it's all here this hasn't even been opened but I could tell it had been used at some point or at least it showed some age so I washed it up in the dishwasher and it looks great and now I have a backup because I'm on my third one now I use it all the time so that's my Vidalia chop wizard for $3.99 the other thing I got was a nice crock pot. Blue with pretty little motif on it. It, it is indeed a oop, genuine crock pot. It has came with a lid and it was $5.99. So those are the two things I bought. I wanted a smaller one. I have I have another smaller one, but when we have all our family here, you know, the seven children and the grandkids and the spouses and the significant others, we need to have a lot of food all along my counters warming up and staying warm for Thanksgiving or other holidays, birthdays. So another little crock pot will do me well. So that's it for my Goodwill haul. It's time for my Amish market haul. Now, while at the Amish market, we did eat breakfast there and had a lovely breakfast together. I didn't buy any handcrafted items. I didn't buy any produce, but I did find some exterior house decor that I liked very much, so I bought some of that. Uh, the first thing I bought was a premium house flag. And you see it's a blue truck full of flowers. It's got a barn and a house in the back. It's really cute. And I've got it open so I can hold it up for you here. Here is my new house flag. I'll be putting this on a flagpole outside on my porch. So I think it's really cute. And I'm partial to blue, so that makes me happy. Now I was gonna put it up and show it to you waving but it turns out I need a new flagpole so I'm gonna to have to order a new flagpole before I can hang it okay another thing I got was a magnetic mailbox cover and this is it it says be grateful it's great for fall and Thanksgiving and it has magnetic strips on either side so it will grab either side of your mailbox it has an opening here for your flag to come out and a slit up here to adjust to your top of your mailbox where it opens and shuts. So uh, I really like that. And maybe I'll get a picture of this on my mailbox before this video goes up. Okay, now they had the smaller flags that you can hang uh, you know, along your walkways or something and they were three for twelve dollars so I bought three of them this is one fall one it's got a cardinal on a watering can with apples and pumpkins I thought and squash I thought that was really colorful and apropos for the things I'm interested in so I got one of those and then I got two that had little gnomes on it one I've already got outside I'm going to take a picture of that for you And the other one I sent off to my friend. And I bet some of you can guess which friend that was. She recently had a birthday and she loves gnomes, garden gnomes. So I decided I'd pick up two and send one off to her. So that's what I got at the Amish market.
Thank you for coming along with us on our trip to Delaware for a shopping excursion. I hope it gives you some ideas of what you can buy in some of those stores as well. the corners of this video here 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 and here you're going to see some more videos pop up that will show you what else being Dana grandma's been up to don't forget to subscribe like and comment bye bye